everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much guys for the continued support. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And for those of you who are watching my videos, commenting, liking, sharing, I am so thankful and please continue doing so. And if you're new here, please welcome. I'm Connie and please make sure you subscribe because this is the best reaction channel, okay? So um, today we're back with another reaction. Uh, and so this time I'm going to react to um, a, a very, um, a very, um, how can I say? It breaks my heart to just know that some people can be so mean, okay? So I will not lie to you. I started watching um, this video and it broke my heart. It really did. I didn't go to the end of it uh, because I wanted to react to the video because that's how I never watch uh, videos before I react to them. But for some reason, I don't know why. I just I just saw the you know the the the, the, the topic was breaking into pieces. Stop asking me this question, and I had to click directly to this um to this video. Why? Because I know her story when it comes to the endometriosis and it's no joke. So I was like, oh, maybe it's about this, this, I don't know, for some reason, I, I was just attracted to this and I was, uh, it broke my heart just watching the first minutes of this video. So let's react to this one because I feel uh, we, uh, we need to have this discussion, okay? So let's go. So it's from the Mokazi family. I love you guys. I truly don't know how to express myself. I don't know how to talk about it. I thought it's something that maybe I can just walk over it and not think about it. Mm -hmm. I just felt it's something that it can't bother me. And for sure, it cannot bother me. But you know, it has become so much. And I feel that it's trying to affect me in a way, but not affecting as much. But coming to think about it, sitting and thinking about it, it makes me feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we women do these things. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. So first of all, if I understand, it comes from women. Okay. So, uh, so is this something that probably men are not really bothered about other people's lives? And we as women, we are just too curious uh, to the extent that we don't really realize that our words, our questions, our curiosity is probably um, just opening the wound again to somebody. So I feel there are some things which we should just let people, um, I would say, to, if, if I want to talk about something that is wrong, then just wait for me to come to you and talk about it. It means that I'm comfortable enough to talk to you about it. And let's not um, say some things that can really hurt somebody. And you don't know, you can't be in their shoes, so you don't really understand. But we should be considerate enough not to dig in too deep, especially the person does not uh, want to talk about it. And in the case where... I feel, it's my opinion, in the case where someone someone asks you a question and it bothers you, then, and that means they don't really know your background, they don't know the why, so we'll see what she has to say in the video, then in that case, I feel that it's up to us to tell people things as they are, so they can understand and probably just give them a perspective of what's going on, if we're comfortable enough to do so, and if we're not, it's probably the best time to educate some people because I feel most of us we act out of ignorance and probably our curiosity just makes us um makes us hurt somebody. It doesn't make sense, you know. So I feel there are two angles to the whole to, to a story, and uh, in this case, I would say um, just people should just stay in their lane and probably not feel too comfortable saying some things that might or might not hurt somebody but you don't know the person enough to to do you know to be too curious so yeah why a woman or a man a husband or a wife mm -hmm. someone's husband or someone's wife will ever make the other person 
feel this way. I don't think it's good. Oh, wow. So guys, today I'm not here to make you laugh or smile, but I feel that I can't take this anymore. Mm. I need to talk about it mm. and I need to address it to you. Right. I need to tell you what's in my mind and what's in my heart. Mm. Sure, it's not a laughing matter, but if you think it's a joke, just put off this and watch something else. Because right. today, I'm not happy. And whatever I'm feeling in my heart can't make me settle for this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and you're right. You're so right, girl, to speak your heart. And I feel uh, you talking about it uh, on your platform, it's very important because it's a way of educating people. And I feel, especially in an African setting where everyone is just like, there's this, um, there's this process that we all have to go through, okay? So you're born, you go to school. Then after school, you go to, I don't know, you do your higher studies, university. Uh, and then as a woman, especially as a woman, people expect you to get married, have kids, okay? And then after that, you can do whatever you want with your life. And then the minute when you, you're in your 20, 25, you're not married, it becomes a problem. If you're married and you don't have children, it becomes a problem to people, someone who doesn't even know you, someone who doesn't know what you're going through, and somebody, it's not their business. I mean, we, we are all different and we all want things. In a, and especially in a society where women now are independent, um, they don't have to just sit in the house, cool, can make children, then women are having children much later. And in a case where it's someone who really wants to have a child and you can't, then it's very painful when you have all these remarks, uh, all this, you know, the talks that are, you know, that always run around. And it's terrible, especially when you know, like you said in the beginning of your video, you can have like 10 children if you would want to, you know. So it's, um, it breaks my heart to know that you're going through this, but you got this. And I thank you for bringing this to your platform because in a way you're educating people. And I hope... People will watch this video and will share it. So please, if you watch this reaction, make sure you share with your families, with your friends, because we need to educate people and stop, stop traumatizing people who are going through something intentionally or not, but in, in a way it is. So yeah, so please share, share, share. Last week, last week, mm -hmm. last week, Okay. wait. <laughs> a few of my friends, colleagues, and so many people from so many different parts of this world were calling me, others were chatting me, others were telling me so much of this issue. One thing I know in this world or in life, you should never do shaming. Whatever kind of shaming, you should right. never do it. Make right. me body shaming. Make calling someone a fool or mm -hmm. maybe seeing someone like a bother. Never do that in exactly. life. Never... I agree with you. And if you haven't watched my video, I will pin it somewhere here or here uh, about body shaming. So this is a young girl from Nigeria who underwent body shaming because she's too small for the African setting. Because as an African, you must be round and, and this and that. So, so let's stop body shaming. You don't know what people are going through. You know, so let's stop it. So I will pin that video. No, today you're here, tomorrow you're not there. Right. So guys, body shaming is one of the most things that women hate. Mm -hmm. If you tell a woman you're so fat, like you have a big belly or you have big bums or anything, People are going to kill you for that. People mm -hmm. can stone you. You can lose friendship. You can lose a lot of things. Right. Imagine, if someone body shames you, you feel bad. What about someone keep asking you, when are you going to give birth? Mm -hmm. Pauline, your husband is going to leave you because you're not giving birth. Oof. Where are you? What? Your husband is going to leave you if you don't give birth? So does it mean that your husband is with you because... Um, because he wants children, he wants you to give him children. I mean, people or somebody had the audacity to tell you that. My goodness, let's listen to that. It's terrible. I'm going to give birth. 
for me and your husband is going to leave you because of not giving birth. No. Why are you slain? It's time to give birth. You have been married for so many years and you're still not having a child. How could you feel when someone asks you this question? It feels so bad in my heart. People asking me the same, same thing each and every time. Mm. Oh, when are you having your periods? Are your periods normal? Do you receive periods? Like, you know, people think that when you're barren, you can't have your periods. Still, people get their periods and they're barren. I didn't say I'm barren, but people should know how to keep distance. You should know mm. to understand Women, you know what we go through through our period, through mm. our menses, right. through this period of time that you're having uh, cramps, you're cramping, you're having issues, mm. you're feeling like the world is going apart. Right. And you know how it feels mm. when someone tries to talk to you. All these mood swings that you have, the way you respond to someone, you don't want to see someone, you don't want to eat food, you don't want to walk, you don't want to wake up, you just want to sleep and you want to be alone imagine that's the feeling you have and then someone comes and asks you why are you not giving birth mm. so my question is uh, I'm not saying it's okay to ask that question but is this someone um, who knows you is it a colleague um, who probably just sees you and you know they've been hanging around you who is this person because um, it would be so annoying, you know, if this question comes from someone who knows you, who knows your background, who probably has watched or well, <laughs> because let's say uh, when it comes to family and friends, they don't really support you on, on YouTube, but um, someone who knows your journey, probably that would be, Oh my goodness, I don't even know how to qualify that. It's so annoying, so disappointing, disgusting. I mean, all those, you know, horrible adjectives, but you know, it's terrible. I would like to know if this person is someone who is dear to you, someone who knows you, someone who is close to you, because then that would be terrible. When you come to somebody who doesn't know you, then you can probably excuse them and just saying it's they're ignorant they don't know what's going on they don't know me and it's just those small talks like hey wow so you know you know the way uh things are so but in that case you can sit down and explain to them but if it's someone you know that you've known and they know you then that's a problem right there and i feel you're right to say enough is enough and address this and i hope those people get to watch this video because it's not right. It's That's not. a very bad and sensitive question to ever ask someone. Right. Okay, maybe you're concerned or maybe you want to know why, but you should ask in a polite way. Get right. away of asking. Right. Not asking, why are you not giving birth? You've been married for the last six years. You've not given birth. Why? Yes, but again, when it comes to someone who knows me, I would understand. But somebody who doesn't know me, then that's none of your business. I feel that's none of your business. You don't know me. You probably just see me um, on the street. You, I, I mean, that's none of your business, you know. So, And that's where the problem comes in in all cases. How come people feel so comfortable um, to try and dig into your life? You know, why is this person so comfortable uh, to come into your life and try and bring you down? So if you're this upset, then it means the person has done it once, twice, or it has come from different people, um, you know, um, at the same time, space, and, and, and it's terrible. It's, and when you explain to people one time, twice, thrice, and they still come back to you with the same question, they have a problem for sure. So it's, um, uh, I'm so sorry for you. And I, I hope that you feel better now after doing this video. And I hope people will be educated and stop body shaming, um, all those type of shaming and, you know, try and tell you your husband will leave you if you don't have a child, if you don't give him a child. Wow. Like sometimes I tend to feel as if I'll ask you, like, you want to give birth in place of me or you want to take right. the part of me mm. and come give birth for me right. or 
So why are you asking? Are you selling kids? Or do you have an order mm-hmm. for giving birth? Right. It hurts someone to the core. Mm-hmm. You know, always know what to ask. Don't just jump and do things or decide of asking something to maybe to benefit your desires or to hear what you wanted. Mm-hmm. Yes, I mean it. I'm coming. I mean it. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, so, you looking nice. as I was saying, never ask a woman the reason. Oh, and then you will have those people like, okay, so you're always uh, looking beautiful, and and you know, the people are crazy. They think you want to stay young forever, and you've been married for a long time, but you're still trying to be young and stuff like that. And I, ah, uh, it's crazy. I know I've had that kind of remark because I'm somebody I don't want to look my age and I I just love looking nice for myself first for myself first you know and so I remember this one time I traveled home with my children so I have two children and I I the way I dressed apparently the custom agents were like whoa um you're trying to 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 stay young forever it's a compliment but don't feel too comfortable to say s- such stuff as well if you don't know the person. You don't know the person well enough. It, I mean, I, I don't care what people really say about me or think about me. It, and that is something that life has taught me is to create this barrier between myself and other people. Anybody who wants to attack me, they just get to this very strong barrier between me myself and them and um and yeah so there are so many people out there who are so inconsiderate of other people's feelings and i feel it's it's a terrible thing and things should change and if you're that kind of a person stop doing that you know your intentions might be good but if you don't know the person well enough to make that kind of a remark then don't do it don't do it. Don't be too comfortable with people. And um, and on the other hand, then I feel that uh, people should just mind their business. That's all. Why she's not giving birth. Get a simple way to express yourself and get to understand that person. Mm-hmm. You know. So I'm going to give you a few encounters that I have had with people who are asking me why I'm not giving birth. Mm-hmm. So before I go to those encounters... You know the reasons to why I have this condition. If you have watched my video that is up here, right. the reason to why I have this condition, mm. you will get to understand. So. Right. I will also pin my reaction to that video. And I learned so much. And I'm so grateful because it was a huge lesson to myself. Um, you know, because it's good to be educated. It's nice to know some things. So if, if somebody is going through similar a similar situation then you know how to help them to to you know to to pick them up and to guide them through the painful journey so it will be right here watch this video up here and you will get to understand more of me mm-hmm. so let's jump into it right. so one person asked me Pauline you've been married for the last six years when you're not giving birth your mm-hmm. husband is going to leave you mm-hmm. and I started thinking of wow why is she telling me like that like why do you think my husband is going to leave me because of not giving birth? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have, I don't have even a reason to think about it mm-hmm. because I know what I know deep in mm-hmm. myself. So that person is trying to give me negative energy right. that I'm not interested in. Right. That person is trying to make me feel inferior. That person is trying to make me feel like less a woman, mm-hmm. of which you're not supposed to do that. Right. If my husband felt like he wants to leave me for, because of children, That's he could have true. done that long time ago. Exactly. Remember? And if he did, then it was his loss, not yours. You know, because at some point, you know, when you get to know somebody and then you get married, you don't marry them because they're going to give you children. I think it's not the number one motivation. You love that person for who they are. Um, you know, and you fall in love with the person first without even thinking about the children in the near future. So if a person leaves you because you can't give them children, then that's a fake one and it's okay, good riddance, you know? 
So, and if, yeah, and you're right. I mean, you've been married for quite some time now. So if you wanted to leave it, then you would have done so many years ago, you know? So, um, yeah. So I would like to know these people, who are they? <laughs> who are they? Are they family? Are they friends? Are they colleagues? Are they strangers? Are they, who are they? Because that's a very important uh, point to put across because um, it would be really interesting to see the different profiles of people who are asked you these kind of questions. Remember, we just we didn't marry yesterday or a year before, mm -hmm. but we have been together for the last six years. Right. Another person tells me, Pauline, you've slept a lot. So why don't you give birth for your husband? And this is what I told the person. Still, I'm not a done slaying. I have to slay until when I get old, that's when I'll give my husband a baby. And the person was like, are you not scared to be dumped? Or are you not scared your husband to go out and get... What has beauty have to do with anything? Does it mean that when you become a mom then you have to stop taking care of yourself. I mean, and when I gave you the, my example at the airport, and that's the question I asked myself. I was like, okay, because that's an old way, you know, that's a way. And still maybe there are some people who like, who feel comfortable enough to stop taking care of themselves and, and stuff like that. But does it mean the moment you're a mom, you have now to start looking uh, horrible or not, putting on makeup or dressing like an old woman? Hell no, no. So that's a stupid question. I'm sorry, but that's a stupid question. It's so inconsiderate. It's so inconsiderate. What has beauty got to do with anything? I don't understand. I don't, you know? So, wow, I'm so sorry, Pauline, that I hope that you have a way of doing away with that because that negative energy, you don't need it in your life. And we don't need that kind of uh, energy uh, around us. So I hope you're in a position to, you know, just to dump those people. If you know, if you get, if you know what I mean, but just, um, you know, just, I don't know. I don't know how you, I don't know how to put it. <laughs> Just put them away from you, your family, and and everything around you because it's 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 horrible, really. Kids from outside. I'm like, you know, you don't know me too well to have this conversation with you. Exactly. You don't like. You don't feel me. Right. You see me slay. You think I want to slay and not have children. But if you know what is in my heart. I'm just feeling as if I'm going to slap the hell out of you right. and get to understand who I am, right. you know? Another person told me, uh, you know, Pauline, don't worry, even don't feel tense, uh, babies, they're not important, but at the end of the day, that person is telling you that. They'll just come around and ask you, so when was your last period? When oh, did you have your period? Uh, don't worry, the ba a baby is not important. And you know, I, I, I watched some time back, I watched a video uh, about a lady who had just lost, uh, so she had twins and then she lost one of the twins. And so she made a video about things, to, things not to say to a mother or to a parent who's lost a child. And honestly, uh, Pauline, I think if you watch this video, darling, if you watch it, I think it would be a nice idea for you to make a video on things not to say to someone who has endometriosis, or it's a difficult name, you know, or, you know, or to someone who has difficulties having children and stuff like that, you should make that video and I know it will blow that video will blow. Why? Because you will touch so many people who are going through the same thing as you are. And so this woman was saying things not to say. And she said, people told her that, oh, yes, okay, so you've lost one baby, but at least you have another one. Like, what? I mean, you can 
are not as somebody who's just lost their child that it's okay. Well, you've lost a baby, it's sad, blah, 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 but you have another one. Nobody can replace the baby who's gone. Nobody can replace the pain, the gap that that baby has left. Nobody can do that. So there are some things people should just buckle it and um, and not to say anything. Because sometimes when we don't know what to say when someone loses a, uh, loses a loved person uh, and stuff like that. But in that case, don't say anything at all. So that's terrible. A baby is not important, but they're asking you when were your last... Uh, periods and you know it's not because you have menses that <laughs> that you're you're fertile you know it's not because you have menses that it means uh you're ov ovulating like you're going to you can have a baby now um people need to be and i feel it's the ignorance that people have that creates such awkward situations and that goes and that you know really hurt somebody and you know just breaks somebody so uh, please, Pauline, make sure you make that video and explain to people things not to say to somebody who's suffering from endometriosis and has difficulty having children and that you will help so many people, lots of them. Just list out of your experience things that should, people should stop saying, asking and saying to somebody, you know? So... If you tell me kids are not important, why are you even bothering yourself mm -hmm. or asking me when was the last time I had my periods? Right. So what does it concern you? Mm -hmm. What? Right. It doesn't concern you anything. Mm -hmm. It's my life. Mm -hmm. If I don't feel like giving birth, then then let it be. If I feel giving birth, I will give birth to so many children that I will have to ask the government for help. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. So another person tells me, uh, Pauline, now you know, I know you're trying to give birth and I know you're trying to do this. Don't stress yourself. Don't think about it. Do nothing about it. It's God's timing. Yes, darling. Yeah, it's God's timing. And perfectly, I take that because having kids, having a blessing, it's God's timing. Mm -hmm. Just do your part, Right? Do your part and leave the rest to God. So, another person asked me, Wow, Pauline, you have become skinny. You have slept. Okay, so so would you say that somebody who says, uh, who tells you that it's God's timing, just do your part, is it good or is it bad? Because I know, uh, especially when it comes to uh, Christian, uh, Christ, um, Christians, I would say, it's a way of encouraging you. So I would like to know what's your take uh, on this one. Do you uh, do you take it in a positive way or do you take it in a negative way? All right. So it's nice to know because this is something that personally I can tell somebody. You know, you've done everything in your power. You've you've done, and when I say that, it means you've done. Uh, you've gone for for checkups. Uh, you've got you've gone for you know the um, the surgery that you did. Um, and so on and so that is your part and then the rest just leave it to God um, does it is it a good thing to say that I honestly need to know because this is something I know I can tell somebody and I want to know um, is it uh, is it good or bad okay so please please let me know that what is it you have stress are you still thinking about mm. conceiving are you trying is that what is making you stress up mm. is that what's making you slim up i'm like if i've slimmed up does it mean that the only thing that is ringing in my head is how to give birth or mm. i want to conceive no i have other things that i do in my life apart from giving birth mm -hmm. i have a family to take care of mm -hmm. i have a husband to look after mm -hmm. i have kids i have to look after i have work to do mm -hmm. i wake up in the morning and i do work mm -hmm. eight to five job mm -hmm. i have to think about it i have to think about my personal life mm -hmm. i have to think about so many other things in my life apart from giving birth mm -hmm. that's not the only thing and another person comes and tells me oh my goodness let me just say something about that um and this is something that is typically african because like i said uh just earlier on like when you're slim in africa then 
either you have a disease, so you have AIDS, let's say things as they are, because I have a sister who had to undergo that kind of body shaming. She was too slim. Um, and I'm not saying like she, it's recent, right? Um, she was too slim. The men, uh, no boyfriend. I mean, the guys were body shaming her because she wasn't round enough for them. What is this thing around if you're a slim woman, then you're unattractive? What is it about that? And I don't understand. You know, I don't. And that's why you see there's, there's so much to be done in people's mentalities and people's ways of uh, looking at girls, looking at women. Uh, and I feel uh, it's annoying. It's really, really annoying saying such things that is pure body shaming and it, it doesn't have any place in, in the society today. And that is not, um, you know, uh, taking care of somebody and looking after somebody. It's not. So um, that's terrible. So stop doing that. A woman is a woman. We are the way we are. We, 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 you're round, then you're slim. I mean, everybody has their own preferences. Maybe it's a choice. It's a choice. I'm not going to stuff myself up so I can grow big. It's, it's a choice. I love you. Do you love, if you love yourself the way you are, then that's all that matters. So let's stop it, guys. I feel uh, it's, Wow, you have added some weight, you look smooth, your face is smooth, you look good, you look happy, like, have you conceived, are you pregnant, you look fat, and I'm like, wait a minute, can't I be at peace, eat, yeah. sleep, relax, have a happy time with my family, mm -hmm. for me to be fat, you see, all these questions people ask you and make you feel bad about mm -hmm. is what kill women who have not yet given birth. Mm -hmm. Let's jump to a point where family keeps on asking you all the time. You know, or your cousin, who, the, your younger cousin who just left high school last year is pregnant. She is pregnant. So what are you thinking about? So why do you have to tell me my cousin is, mm -hmm. is pregnant? Okay, I have eyes, or maybe we have never seen each other. She has a life. If her life is all about giving birth, mm -hmm just after high school it's good for her it's good for her life just mm -hmm. leave me for my life mm -hmm. you don't have to come and tell me oh you know no you you're making us feel like um you're feeling bad you see your brothers and sisters have kids you're the only person who doesn't have kids like oh, what the hell goodness. i don't want that energy I just want to be me mm -hmm. if god decides pauline when you're 60 that's when you're going to give you a kid let it be wow <gasps> that's painful you know you can you can um it doesn't it it it, it, it gets to you when it comes from your the outside circle and i'm talking about your colleagues uh your uh your friends um you know your customers your prospects whatever the case may be you can, it's painful, but when it comes from your family, be it your immediate family or your extended family, that's terrible. And shame on them. Whoever it is, I'm sorry, Polly. No disrespect, but shame on them. Does it mean they don't know what you're going through? Which I doubt because, I mean, as a family, I mean, people know you know, and they know it's um, they know the condition that you have, they know what's going on, and so on. But then still coming back and brushing it all over your face and smearing like, yeah, your cousin had a kid, your siblings have a kid, and so what? I'm happy for them. I'm happy I'm their aunt. But my goodness, just rubbing it in like that and just, you know, it's just like, you know, stabbing you and and just keep um, pushing the, the knife inside, it's terrible. When it comes from family, that, that, that shit hurts. It's really, really hard. So, oh my goodness, up until now, I was just hoping it has nothing to do with family, but now that you've said it, it it's outrageous, it's terrible, um, and um, I just, deep down, I hope 
that it will stop and deep down i hope it's out of ignorance because they probably don't have enough information if it's the case i think i would suggest that um that you sit with them or you ask your parents to talk to them or elders when i say your parents you're not you're not a kid but you know just elders so people can understand the situation and support you instead of bringing you down it's a big weight to carry but if somebody's back there hanging on to the the weight already then um it doesn't help you advance and it just makes it worse so ah uh, i it's so painful i'm not going to struggle with anyone i'm not going to in fact i don't owe anyone mm. an explanation to why right. i'm not pregnant period i will not explain to you in period. fact i will not even think about it i'll just slap you yeah period because it's getting out of hand so people have seen me to be a soft person talking and sharing everything mm-hmm. out but now you think asking me this question is a way to get to my heart no just mm-hmm. look for another way we are going to talk we're going to chat but questions concerning kids questions about which hospital questions about have you tried mitishamba or these traditional drugs mm-hmm. i'm not going to take such questions so keep it to yourself mm-hmm. and let me be let my life be mm-hmm. if i feel that i want to share something i'm going definitely to share it mm-hmm. out if i feel that i don't want to share it or the whatever i want to share is just that just leave it at that mm-hmm. don't go out there making women feel less women exactly don't go attacking people's wife don't go attack men's other men mm-hmm. oh i'd forgotten so a man comes to me and tells me wow Pauline, you've been married for the last six years and you're not pregnant so can we try it with me i'll make you pregnant what the hell what wait a minute for the last six years and you're not pregnant so can we try it with me i'll make you pregnant Wow. I'm speechless. Somebody had the audacity to tell you that? I'm speechless. Let me just, let me just not say anything. Darling, I'm not that cheap. But after, if you think that I'm going to jump from one bed to another trying men something for me to get pregnant i'm not interested Mm-mm. my husband is there and he can do that for me Mm-mm. so don't think that because i'm not getting pregnant that my husband has issues no and don't think i'm that kind of a person who go trying out to get children i will never do it. and please save your energy telling me you try it with me because you're just wasting your energy and the next time you try and do such a thing I'm going to expose you to your wife and to the whole world. Just check me out. So guys, I just had to pour this out because I feel bad about it. But let's try and be sensitive when asking some questions. Hmm. That's the end of it. So until the next video, peace. Oh my darling, I'm so sorry. Wow. I'm so sorry because it's uh, it's terrible to see how insensitive people can be and the audacity to ask you certain questions and worse ask you to sleep with them thinking that they will make you pregnant and thinking that you're that desperate for you for a child and that you're that loose okay and it's terrible i am so sorry i'm so 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 sorry that you had to go through that and that you're going through that and you're right i guess from now on you need to be very tough on those questions i feel that you should develop um a very cold heart in the sense that don't take that nonsense anymore because i feel enough is enough because i feel um people when you allow it once they do it the second time 
her time and words went down to family. That's even, I think it's family supposed to be there to, to lift you up, to, to promote you, uh, you know, and, and to, and to make you feel comfortable, um, you know, in, in, um, in, in whatever thing that anybody might be going through, but which is not the case all the time. So I'm so sorry. I, I don't even know what to tell you, girl, but you've got, um, our love and I'm sending you all my love and you were so right to make this video. And I'm so happy I had to, uh, I, you know, I had to, I really had to react to this video because it's, it's something that really, that is really dear to my heart. And yeah, so well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. <laughs> I hope that uh, you can educate somebody in your family, in your circle, who is probably ignorant of these issues or someone who's undergoing something in their life. You just have to be there, uplift them, but do not bring them down. Okay, guys, so it's your girl, Connie, and until next time, bye, peace.